because I'm, I'm unarmed right now. No, literally, I have no arms. See? Check it out. See what I did there? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here. Today, playing some Shadowgate VR Minds of Mythrock. Yeah, it's been a while since we did any VR on the channel, any virtual reality. And this was sent along as a key from the developer. They said, hey, you've done VR before. Want to do it again? I said, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll give it a try. So we are going to play some Shadowgate VR here. I think the first thing we should be concerned with is the dragon. I'm not going to lie about that. I think that's the most important thing we could be talking about right now. But apparently we're just going to swing up here. Oh, sorry. Am I not moving fast enough for you? We'll see if we can fix that. All right. I will be using teleportation mode because it just kind of eases up on the whole motion sickness thing that I can get sometimes when I do VR. So forgive me if you guys are all free movement style. I do generally use teleport style. It just kind of calms my tummy a little bit here. All right. So we're in a tutorial area. I can go chit chat to Odin. Odin's the raven somewhere around here. I'm, I'm sure I left it. No, the dragon. I think we should be concerned about the dragon. This has all gone horrible. Oh, hi. Hello. Um, I, I will be happy to listen to you. You understand you're very, very big. The neat thing about having the subtitles up is that when you move your head, you can make them do this. Well, my man left and he left uh, a thing, this thing sort of right here. Let me just scoot over to this. Oh, wow. Right in my face. Okay. Right in my face. I can't do anything with it. I can't touch it in any way. I can point at it, which is good. I'm going to point twice. No, I can't point with that hand. I'm going to point at that. Then I'm going to point at that very, very obvious door that's over there. And then I'm going to go down to my, well, this thing. I got a wand. What happens if I do this? Ah, that happens. Oh, wow, that happens too. Okay, that's... That's probably important. The, the bird's talking to me. I think we should be more aware of the giant monoliths that are kind of popping up everywhere. That guy, and then those guys, and then that. Oh, and I can shoot fire at them. Oh, I've got a fire wand. Okay, fire wand, fire wand. Fi where's the bird? And the fact that every monolith has a little fire icon on it leads me to believe I'm supposed to be setting fire to them. Okay. So a little bit of a puzzle going on here, right? I see that one. Now that one faded. That one didn't. So that's probably important because that's clearly and obviously because this is a tutorial area and they're going to keep things on the easy side. Thank goodness, because it's me, that's going to match up to these guys. Okay, so what do we got? We sort of got sort of a backwards Y here. Where does that live? Right there. Can I do? Oh, I did a thing. I did a thing. And then we got sort of a weird F. That guy's right there. Right. Uh, let me set fire to literally everything else around here. Hang on. All right. So over here, we got another weird Y. That guy's right there. Oh, sorry. 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 I accidentally exploded the thing. Sorry. And then sort of like a double X helix thing. Uh, you're over here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. Right. That's really... F oh, there's the bird. Uh, can I set fire to the bird? Hang on. Uh, sorry, this isn't personal. Ah, you've got something sarcastic to say about it. Cool. All right, so my non-flammable bird just pointed out that this is a save spot. There we go. I got a little audio cue. Progress saved. Fantastic. Uh, what's up, Chief? What are we doing? Um, can I, can I touch you? Oh, I can. Okay, you can pet the bird. You can pet the bird. So here's Logical Dave. Fire wand. Obstacle. Yep, that solved the problem. Thought it might. Okay, go here. That looks like some uh, gold I should be picking up there. Did I get that? How do I... How do I get that? Can I... Oh, there we go. I just touch it with my hand and I got it. Um, probably let me back myself up here. Whoops, turn myself around. Hang on. Yeah, just in case uh, friendly fire is a thing, I can set fire to myself. Let's just get a good distance back on these things. There we go. And that all the way over there. Okay, this looks terrifying. Uh, let me just nudge my nose up here a little bit. Set fire to that. Oh, we love fire wand. You can't put me in a tutorial area and tell me something terrifying isn't going to come out of there. Look, you can see it. There's, there's bits of rock coming down. I played Fallout New Vegas. I know something horrible is coming. Probably a big boulder. Nope, it's a spider. It's a spider. It's a spider. 
Okay, that happened. I just noticed I got a thing here. What what happens if I press this? Can I can I press this? Feels like I've got some sort of like I don't know sci-fi communicator thing on there. Doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, if you wish to use view the world through Odin's all-seeing eye, simply press the Odin Vision button. Spirit will then. Uh, wait, is there more spiders? Because I'm I'm unarmed right now. No, literally, I have no arms. See, check it out. See what I did there? Okay, Odin Vision is pretty freaky. So um, Odin's over there. And if I do this, oh, wow, now I'm seeing through, oh, there's me. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, I am cool looking. I look very, very good. And I've got arms in that too. Okay, so this was, aha, aha. I'm pointing at this. You can't see my arms because I'm a bird now. I don't have arms. There's a thing up there. Okay, let me back out of this. There's a thing up there. Where's, uh, where's Fire Wand? What happens if we do that? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. That just opened up that passage. Oh, all right. Because that had like a, a red, I don't know, force field on it or something. Okay. This is another obvious trap that I'm going to, that I'm going to go into. Because I'd like whatever's in the pretty box here. Uh, it's a key. Okay. Put the, put fire wand away. Can I just take this? Yes. Yes, I can. Press the inventory button. Which one is inventory? That one is inventory. Aha! Um, poke it? Poke it? Can I do... Oh, I can! Oh, cool! Uh, how do I make it work? Uh, a fire wand. Where's my fire wand? Hang on. Be ready here. Oh, that was neat. I liked that. You actually just put the key in the lock and turn it. Uh, right. Well, at least there's a save spot. Uh, there's another thing over here. The door has locked behind me, which is mildly disconcerting. Can I have this? I can. How do I... Can I put it... Is it in my inventory? It is. Okay. And the other key went away. All right. So no more key there. Don't need it. Already got through the door. Already locked behind me. Very, very worrying. I'm kind of thinking lead with fire blast because, um, you know, spider. I'm just kind of cleaning things out a little bit here, making sure... Oh, I'm going to get murdered. I'm going to get murdered right now. Okay. Right. Poke my head around the corner. Hello? Fire wand. Fire wand. Okay. So far, so good. That looks like something I should be setting fire to. Okay. So apparently that was just a warning from the great warlock that I'm trying to avoid, frankly, at all costs, uh, until I'm ready to deal with such a person. I've got the rune here. This looks terrifying and murderous. Oh yeah, that's death. It is death too. If I walk into that, that's going to be death. That's what the thing was just showing me there. So clearly, well, let me see. I've got one key. I don't know what it does yet. Uh, where's that, that rat? I'm going to get you one of these days. Okay, does the key, it does, open the lock. Oh, just money. All right, well, that's cool. I mean, nobody doesn't like money. But that doesn't do anything for that rune down there. How am I... How am I getting past this? All right, well, let's try the Odin Vision thing. Okay, there's me. I look great. There's the rune. Fine. Now, I can't move as the raven. I'm stuck on this perch. I don't see anything else that says, this is what you're supposed to be doing right now, Sparky. So leave that. I don't need to... Oh, come here, come here. Oh, missed him again. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. What happens if I turn the rune... Can I turn the rune off? Is that a thing I can do? That did nothing. There he is. Okay, it took more than a few minutes, but I found it. It was way up here. I bet that does something. Way up on the ceiling. Did not see that. Okay. Got it. Got it. Turn that one back on. That turns that off. Go down here, but make sure that I've got enough room to hit that. I totally do. Okay. Got it. Figured it out. Up here. I am totally going to turn your subtitles off, bird. Uh, ah! Spider, 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 spider. Okay. Wow. Um, sorry about that. That was, um, that, that. When you're doing that in virtual reality and that giant, uh, you, I'm done with you, and that giant thing is at your feet, 
Okay, um, I'm gonna, you know what, set fire to that, it's probably a thing. Okay, uh, right, get, getting myself back together here. Big, big spider right at your feet. I don't, I don't have a problem with spiders, but that one was giant and huge, and uh, it was right there. Okay, I've got you lit, and I see you. Now that I'm looking for the ceiling, what do you do? You don't seem to do anything over there. Okay, that looks like a thing. What's, what's going on over here? What's going on? All right, we got kind of a similar setup. Oh, except we've got two doors now. Oh, that's what those are. Those are my health points. Okay, underside of my glove. I've got five health points right now. Find and store potions. I bet you that's one right there. Um, put fire wand away briefly. Potions color indicate its healing strength. Blue is weakest. I don't care. I'm just concerned about spiders. Give me that. All right, let's see what we got here. I got two runes, neither of which I can hit if I go down here. What happens if I turn, say, that one off? Does that do anything? Well, it doesn't turn off for a start. How about this guy? Does that do anything? No. Hmm. Well, oh my goodness. I believe I saw Hi. The Hi. The I would Fire. Fi fire for you. Wow. I, I cannot stress enough how gigantic that thing is. Okay, that took a little longer to find. It's up on the ceiling. Alright, that's three. What else might be going on? What did that do for a start? Did that actually open anything up here? Uh, where do we... Oh, yeah, it's wide open now. Okay, it's wide open. Well, wide open down to that thing. So, one, two, three. Any others that I'm immediately seeing? All right, let me go down here and find out what is so terrifying. It, it's going to be another spider. Okay, getting a little easier to turn things on and off now that I'm looking everywhere. So, there's one up on the ceiling there. That opened up this area. And then we've got one up on the ceiling there. I don't know what that does yet, but this looks horribly, horribly important. And there's bet there better be a key for that around here. I'm not missing any loot. So go up here, put put fire wand away, unless there's any spiders. Are there are there spiders on the ceiling? There are not. Good. Good day so far. Um Oh. It's Dwarf TV, my favorite. Okay, now what? Dwarf TV is over. It has ended its broadcast day without any major revelations except to say all the defenses are up around here, which is mildly discouraging. Uh, how about a key? You want to give me a key for that box? Well, let's set fire to the rune. Let's see what happens here. What does that do for a living? Anything? Anything? How about a key or something? It's definitely on. Let me, uh... Oh, we turned that off. Okay, fair enough. And that rune over there on the ceiling in Dwarf TV room turned off all of these force fields. So I can backtrack a little bit. I'm just trying to see if there's a key that I missed for either the door or the box. Rat! Rat! I'm one of these days. All right, well, let's do the obvious thing. Let's go into bird vision here and see if I'm missing I something. Can. That I've already got. There's me. I look amazing. Not gonna lie. Look great. Wish I looked that cool in the real world. Let's, uh... Well, now what? Now, just checking my inventory here. I don't have any other keys for this box. Just my potion there. I played Dwarf TV again just to see if I was missing something. Some kind of clue. But it's just telling me... Everything's gone horribly wrong and I'm locking the place down. I don't suppose it's as easy as just walking up to the door and just having it open, is it? Anything? No. No. Nothing. No, that's a potion. We know what that is. Well, I still haven't found a way out of the room, so I've been occupying my time putting my fire wand up this guy's nose because it just sort of amuses me to do so. I am stumped on this. I am more than a little bit of stump. Puzzle games are generally... Not my forte, it may surprise no one at all to know. I got this far, but I'm just blanking out here. I can't find a key. I can't find any other corresponding runes. Unless I'm looking right at them, I've been in and out of bird vision more times than I'd care to remember, trying to look for some sort of secret area. I've played Dwarf TV several times, again, just looking for some kind of hint or clue, but all the guy says is, again, it's gone horribly wrong, I'm locking the place down. Did I check this ceiling over here? That's probably something I didn't do. 
No, no, I do like the way the fire wand illuminates the place. That's cool. No, nope, I'm not. It's not something as simple as just setting fire to the door a bunch of times, is it? Nah. Okay, I found out what you do with the gold, and it's giving hats to the bird. I could not possibly be more excited. Please, yes, God, yes, we're doing this. We're absolutely doing this. Uh, bowler hat. I'm pretty sure that's some sort of bowler hat. I don't care how many... How, oh my God, he's got a bowler hat on. Game of the year. And he keeps the bowler hat on. Oh, this is, this is great. This is worth it, right here. Th this... This is worth it, right here. I am stumped on this room, though. I'll tell you that right now. I have no shame in admitting that I am terrible at puzzle games. I get through the first couple, no problem, but I am stumped on this room. I can't find a key for the door. I can't find a key for the box. I've given the bird a bowler hat, so I think my day is pretty much complete here. And that is where we're going to call it a day on Shadowgate VR. Just really wanted to hop in, check it out, show it off to you guys, hop right back out again. No real plans for it other than what you see here. So do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Shadowgate VR. And hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. It's quarter of six in the middle of northern Siberia. I have no pants on, and I'm going bird watching. This is what we're doing right now. And why did the robot dogs make their off switch in such a blindingly obvious place that anyone could reach? I mean, it seems to me when the robot dog apocalypse comes, it's going to be fairly manageable. Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the nature channel? Okay. All right. Oh, God. A new incident. Um, childbirth. You know what? You know what, lady? Lady? We've been doing this for billions of years. Do you think you can handle this one by yourself, please?